Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on MQTT. Like we studied in our last video, so we have seen multiple things. But in our today's session, we are going to do Groha Automations. So you, you must be thinking, what's that? So basically, Groha means home. So we are going to do home automation. So in this video, we are going to connect multiple appliances to our node MCU and we are going to control them using the MQTT and that too with our smartphone. So this time we will use the smartphone application and with that we are going to control it and we are going to see like when to turn on the light, when to turn off the light, when to turn on the fan or when to turn off the fan. So this is all that we are going to see in our today's video. So now let's not waste much time on the introduction part. So let's straight forward, go to the project and let's see how we're going to do that. So let's get started. So before we start, we have a small announcement that our new batches are starting on Python and Rasa chatbot. And if you want to opt a carrier in this IT field, then you can opt for this course. And you must be thinking that it must be for the advanced level or the intermediate level uh, people. So it's not like that because we are going to offer you something which is going to start from scratch. So if you don't have any IT background also, then also you can join for this because we are going to start from scratch and we'll be taking you to the advanced level so that you will learn at least something so that you can apply for some job, right? So this is all that we are offering. So you will be uh, like getting a complete hands-on session because our main priority is that you will do hands-on. So if you do the hands-on, then you will be able to achieve more, right? So this is the main thing. And also this is just a online based training. So you can opt for this course from anywhere across the world. So you can opt for that. And for the link you have in the description, so you can check for that link and you will see like what you will learn in the Python and you what you will learn in the Rasa chat board. So it's a complete package. You can learn for that. And also just because uh, the batches are starting from 16th of May, so we are also offering a heavy discount and I'll add the coupon in the uh, description so you can apply that coupon and you will get a discount of 75% off which is a very heavy discount right. So you will get that and uh, so just check the link and uh, sign up for that link now and you can enroll for this course now. So we'll see you there in the course. So see you there. All right. So guys, uh, this is a code from our last video uh, where we have already seen that how do you control the LEDs using the node MCU and uh, also to read the values for your DHT11 sensor. So we have already seen that in the last video. So we are basically going to continue from there only. So if you haven't watched that video, you do just watch that video. I'll add the link of that video in the description and also with this video on the top, you can just click on that and you can check it up. So now we're going to continue from there only. So that's the reason. Let me continue. And now today what we're going to do is like in the last video, we are simply controlling the normal LEDs, which are your DC LEDs, which can be controlled using the DC signal. But in our today's video, instead of controlling the DC LEDs, we're going to control your AC appliances, which can be a bulb, which can be a fan or which can be anything, right? So we're going to control that. So in that case, your DC signal will not be able to control your AC appliances directly. And also we cannot directly interface your home appliances with your DC circuit. So that's not possible, right? So for that, we need a something or let's say we need some interface in between which can control or which can act like a bridge so that we can communicate with each other using a DC signal and controlling the AC appliances. So this is what we're going to do. And for that, we have something called as relay. So relay will be used to control those home appliances using the DC signal as an input. So this is what we're going to do. So for that, basically we need a circuit which will be interface or let's say which will be added to your existing circuit so that you can connect them together and get the functionality done that is to control the home appliances right so this is what we're gonna do so let me show you the circuit for that so here you can see this is the schematic for your uh, basic circuit which is your four channel relay in this we have four relays which we are connecting using the uln 2003 which is your relay driver also you can say right so this is a schematic for that and uh, this is a circuit for that. 
so if you don't have this circuit and if you want to get it from my side so you can do one thing you can get the link in the description i'll add this in there and uh, you can directly copy it so this is uh, all about that now once you have this thing ready we will be shifting up further to connect this four channel relay with your home appliances and also to connect them to your existing circuit so this is what we are gonna do so guys here you can see that we have made the connections of your node mcu with the relay in fact the four channel relay that we were discussing uh, right so here you can see that we have made the connections of all the four bulbs that we have in here right so we have made the connections of all of them but currently just because we want to control only two of them that two with the the pin number d6 and d7 so these are the two which we have connected to the relay right so this is where we have it and uh, similarly just because i'll also show you like uh, for rest of the two buttons as well or uh, let's say rest of the two bulbs as well so that's why i have the two pins vacant over here that i will connect to d4 and d8 so i'll connect there and i'll show you that as well so this is the way like how we have connected that so this is how we have make the connections now let's see uh, the further steps okay so now let's see like how do you make the connections of your bulb with your relay because uh, this time it's not just a single bulb we are having multiple bulbs over here so we're gonna connect them together so you can see this is a relay and uh, this is a bulb so this is a, a circuit for your single bulb so the same thing you have to do for your multiple bulbs as well so this is how you're gonna do it so you can say like these are two terminals of your bulb one terminal will be directly connected to normally open because we want uh, uh, the switching to be done once we send the trigger right so once the trigger is sent it should uh, switch to the normally uh, open one and it should uh, give the signal to that right so this is what we actually want right so this is the way to do that same thing we're gonna do for multiple as well so this is the way how do we do it right all right so this is the way like how do we connect like multiple uh, bulbs to the four channel relay like we have four relays and four bulbs so we have to connect all of them together so this is the way like how do we connect them right and in fact this is the image which i downloaded from internet right so that's why uh, you will see that uh, the pin numbers are different in this case but in our case we are using the pin number as d4 d6 d7 and d8 to control all the four channels so this is the image downloaded so that's the reason we have it in this way so this is the way to connect them all right so after making the connections of your uh, node mcu and your relays and everything together now we are gonna jump uh, to the uploading of your code because we don't have to do anything new in this time and we just have to upload the same code and we have to control our home appliances instead of controlling the normal LEDs. So this is what we are gonna do, do in today's session, right? So uh, if you have already watched my previous video, so I hope you already have uploaded the code which I'm showing you right now because it's the same code. So you just have to upload that code and uh, you can directly get it, right? So this is uh, how, uh, what we are gonna do it, right? So just upload the code and let's see how it's gonna happen. All right, so now let's uh, upload the code. So before uploading the code, just verify that you have selected the right board and right port is selected. So right now you can see the port is not selected. So I'll have to select the port. So just select it and now just click on upload so that your code will be uploaded and we can further start checking it up, right? So let's wait for it to upload and uh, we'll further see that. All right, so as you can see, the code is uploaded. Now, now one more thing, as I mentioned in the beginning, that this time we're gonna control this home appliances from our smartphone. So for that, we need one application which will be used to control this home appliances. So we are gonna download it first. So for that, let me download it on my system, which is my smartphone. So let me open it up and let me uh, install it, right? So let me just uh, download it. All right, so now, uh, as you can see, I am on the home screen. So here you can see that uh, I have Play Store, so I'll go to there and uh, I'll simply search for MQTT. So here it will simply show you so many applications 
but the one which uh, i'll be using in my case is the one you can see on my screen which is my mqtt so i'll open this one and as you can see it's already installed on my system or in you can say in my smartphone so i don't have to install it again so in your case you just have to download this one but if you want you can check for another applications as well but uh, i like this one so that's why i work with this so just simply click on open because it's already installed but in your case you can install it and then open it right so let me open it up so now in here basically it will ask you for the information related to mqtt broker which mqtt you are using right now right so you have to use that so like in our case we are using the uh, mqtt broker as test.mosquito.org so basically this is the ip address for that same uh, mosquito.org uh, broker right so if you want you can pass this ip address or you can pass that test.mosquito.org so both are applicable so whichever you want you can put that right so next is port number 1883 so this is the same which we already discussed so this is the one and after that rest of the options you can leave it for now because credentials we don't have ssl we don't have we are going for mqtd v3 only right so this is what you have to select now once this is done just click on connect so you can see it is connected and also just because your dht 11 sensor is also there so that's why we are getting the value for temperature and humidity as well right and the reason why we are getting these values is just because because in my case i have already subscribed to the topics and i have also added these things right so uh, this is what we have so for now if you want uh, to change it or if you want to delete it so let me do one thing let me delete it for now because i want to show you from scratch so i can clear this data as well clear received messages so that i can show you fresh so i'll go in here and uh, the name for our subscribe topic on this uh, smartphone will be temp data right so this is the one which we have uh, given the name right this is the subscribe topic so just click on subscribe now you go to the dashboard now again you will be able to see what values you are getting for your temperature and humidity so 31 degree is the temperature and 51 uh, no sorry 59 is your uh, like humidity right so these are the values that we are getting right so this is the one which we have got for uh, the uh, temperature and humidity which is your subscribe topic but this time we have to do the home automation so for that we have to go to publish where you will be putting it up and uh, as you can see the topic name is device slash led right so this is the topic name and uh, the message will be whatever message you are passing right so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 as per all of your uh, like uh, multiple values right so in our case we are gonna control two leds or you can say we're gonna control two appliances so for that you have to add 0 1 2 3 because as per my coding we have only written it for 0 1 2 and 3 so that we can turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off so for both the bulbs right so this is how we're gonna do it so basically i have already uh, added them as a list over here so that's the reason i don't have to pass this message every time whenever i want to publish it i can simply click on this right let me show you when i'll click on this let's say device slash led so you can see message sent right similarly for the other one message sent so in the similar way i'll be getting all this stuff right so this is the way like how it works all right so guys as you can see that we have made the connections of your node mcu with the four channel relay which i showed you over there right so this is uh, what we have and we have the bulbs connected over here right so now uh, it's time for us to check like whether this thing is working for us or not so for that we have to use that application which we have installed now and uh, will control these appliances using that application so let's see whether it's working or not all right so now as you guys can see that uh, here are the appliances which uh, i'll be controlling now right for that i have my application opened so also you can see like i have also connected to the broker which we discussed uh, like previously which is test.mosquito.org 
so now subscribe topic we have already seen now it's time for uh, the publish topic which basically publishing from our application and subscribing on the node mcu so we'll check that and for that as you can see i have already mentioned all the topics and the values which i'll be publishing right so i'm publishing uh, for device slash led which is our uh, home appliances which we have connected to node mcu so now let me first of all turn on the first bulb so for that uh, i have to send the value as one so which is second one which is this one so i'll click on this so you can see the bulb is turned on similarly i can turn on the second bulb as well which is going to be turned on using the value two so i'll click on the second one i mean third one which is this so you can see another bulb is on so i'll turn off the same bulb by passing the value as three so this one is off and if i'll pass zero this one is also off so you can see this is the way how we can control the home appliances by simply publishing the value from the broker side and to further see it right now similarly just like we control the two bulbs now we can control rest of the two bulbs as well now for that what we have done is we have simply connected rest of the bulbs uh, through our node mcu pins which is d4 and d8 so we have connected them to the four channel relay where two uh, pins from, uh, were vacant basically so right so we have connected them now let's uh, see like uh, how we are going to control all the four appliances right let me turn on the first one so this is the first one now second one now third one now fourth one so as you can see like i am able to control all the appliances which are over here and i can simply control each of them right so this is the way like how all the bulbs are getting controlled So that's all from my side for today. I hope you have gained some knowledge from our today's video and you have understood MVTD in a better way. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topic in today's session, you can feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And also if you have liked the video, do click on the like button and if you, if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel. So that's all from my side. See you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and take care.